Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am hoping that this episode is going to be epic. I hope it is. I haven't filmed it yet. Um, it's really early morning. I look half asleep because I had a really busy uh, book trip. But I am, the sun's shining and I'm making a beautiful barbecue and a big feast for my friends. And I always get asked whether how I prepare it and whether I cook everything beforehand and things like that. So I've come back home last night and it's uh, exactly 9 a.m. I've gone out to the market and I've brought all the ingredients and I'm gonna start cooking. And I thought I will show you how I managed to cook all of it. My friends are arriving at four o'clock, so that's the time I have. There's lots happening in the kitchen. Let me show you. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button. Let's get cooking. Um, so it is nine o'clock and I'm gonna get started and be ready by the time my friends arrive. First thing I'm gonna do is prep the dips. Um, and whether it's a barbecue or whether it's a normal dinner, I love to have lots of dips because um, I just love, it's my favorite thing to eat. So that's what I like to prepare for people as well. So I'm gonna start with the dips. This meal is not an Indian meal. It's a messy kind of meal. Um, lots of glorious, delicious things. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the dips out of the way because you can prepare them beforehand. So all the dips that I prepare now will be good till you know evening so um then they can just be done uh, covered and then left aside um the only thing i prepped last night was i roasted the aubergines and removed the skin so that's three aubergines with the skin off and i'm going to make a lovely aubergine dip so i've just got some onions frying and once they are lightly golden i'll add some garlic a few spices and this will go in as well um, so once the onions uh, and the chilies are done I'm just adding the chopped tomato oh and I've added ginger and garlic as well just adding tomatoes we'll let it cook for two minutes I don't want it completely softened and once that is done I'm gonna chop this up and I'm not gonna waste this water this water is gonna go into a dip. So now that this is all really nice and soft, in goes our chopped aubergine. I'm also going to chop up some fresh parsley and add it to it. So I've added uh, salt, a bit of um, Vaduvan spice mix and I'm adding just a drizzle of lemon juice because it just balances the flavors and then I've chopped up this. So now this first dip is completely ready. And there it is. It's our first dip of smoked aubergine is ready. Look how amazing so this is piping hot of course it will taste nice but it tastes really nice at room temperature so i'm just going to cover it up and actually start putting things on the dining table as and when they get ready finishing it with like a little drizzle of olive oil just for extra flavor. I have put the tablecloth on the table. Kitchen is still a mess. We've got so much to cook still. Um, but here's the first dip ready. I'm going to let it cool down before I cover it because it's still piping hot. Okay, so the first dip is done. It smells amazing, looks amazing. I'm moving on to the second one. Mom's in the kitchen, so I've put her on chopping duties. Um, but you can see all, all kind of prep going on in full swing. And the second dip is a lovely hummus. I absolutely love hummus. So I'm gonna make a beautiful coriander and lemon hummus. Um, and yeah, it's a really quick one as well. Um, so this is, Super simple one again, 
10 chickpeas um, I always add like a couple of green chilies for the heat uh, I haven't got enough coriander today so I am using flat leaf parsley instead which is also fine um, lots of salt seasoning is a must and also lots of lemon juice is also a must and then I'm going to add some tahini and I haven't put all of the tin chickpeas I've just got a handful here because I'm going to finish the um, hummus with the handful of the chickpeas so if you think there's not enough liquid just add a little glug of water which will help grind the hummus there it is and yes a tiniest bit of garlic too so there it is the beautiful coriander and lemon hummus is ready and it's got a little bit of heat a bit of kick to it because i've added the green chili so i'm just gonna shape it so i can make like little puddles for the oil because it uses a lot of lovely olive oil goes in and obviously the chickpeas that we kept to put on top just some chili flakes and just like that our second dip is ready to go sit with our aubergine dip so we've now prepared uh, it's real life kitchen we've prepared the aubergine dip and the hummus chickpea coriander hummus and now i'm making the third dip which is going to be a roasted cauliflower yogurt dip um I, you know i love cauliflower so this is absolutely delicious because it uh, is roasted with spices and then we're going to finish it with yogurt so i'm going to show you what spices i'm going to put in this so we just chopped up all the cauliflower and all the side bits just add everything on a baking tray just all of it um, and then I'm just adding a sprinkling of Bharat spice, which is a lovely kind of zesty orangey. This says it's got paprika, ground coriander, orange peel, cassia, cumin, uh, cardamom, black pepper, cane pepper, caraway, oh God, clove. So basically lots of lovely spices. So add a good glug of that. The rose harissa, so I'm adding two teaspoons of that and obviously not to forget salt you really need to season it nicely and then some oil so a good good um glug of i'm just using rapeseed oil for this today you could use any oil of your choice but you need a good glug of it and then give it a good mix so I'm going to roast it in a hot oven at 200 C uh, for 15-20 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye. Once it's roasted, it looks nice and cooked. I'm going to take it out. Um, right, moving on to the third. This is the fourth one because cauliflower is roasting for the third dip. And I'm moving on to the fourth dip, which is Mahanra. I shared a recipe for this. So, um, oops, um, it is on the channel even the hummus recipe is on the channel and so is the aubergine dip on the channel but i'm trying to in this video i'm trying to show you how i'm going to do all of this together so i've roasted um some walnuts they're going in the mixer i'm going to cook some red onions and the only thing that i prepped um in advance is like i roasted the aubergine put it in the fridge two days ago i roasted the peppers peeled it and put it in the fridge um and put it in the fridge two days ago so they are ready this is this is the only two things i prepared in advance uh, which is quite helpful when you're doing so much so 
Um, that's it. I'm going to prepare the mahamra with the red peppers. So once the onions have softened a bit, I'm adding some garlic or a lot of it. Uh, your choice. I've got um, some tomato puree. I've got cumin powder. And then I'm going to blitz all of this with the red pepper. So I've got everything in here. And then this onion tomato paste will go into uh, with the peppers and the oil and some spices. Oh, you can find the details. And then I'm adding some lovely pomegranate oh god excuse me um which is going to add flavor and color and taste and a little dash of olive oil and then i'm going to blitz this and here is the beautiful and one of my favorites mohamra ready i could literally dip a whole loaf of bread into this and eat it it's so 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 good and once again i'm going to finish this this time i'm going to finish it with some chili oil because there isn't enough chili in this um so i'm gonna just finishing it with that and a bit of chopped walnuts and that's another dip ready look at how beautiful this looks right so it is 10 20 and we've got the fourth dip almost ready um, oh, the cauliflower looks and smells amazing oh so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to assemble it just yet i'm going to let this cool down so um like i said i'm going to let this piping hot cauliflower cool down because it's too hot to go on some yogurt uh, but I'm going to finish it in the meantime because uh, it needs time to cool down I am going to have a cup of tea with my mum we're going to take a tea break because this is our fourth tip almost ready and then we're going to move on to the main dishes which will take time to cook so maybe I should have started with that but I prefer to get the dips out of the way and then the kitchen is uh, the things can slowly cook on the hob and the oven i have moved on to the mijadra which is a lovely bulgur wheat lentils fried onions so uh, mum's chopped up all the fried onions here and i've got the lentils cooking they are almost done so i'm going to get this off and then cook it with the um, Bulgari. You can find the recipe. I did this recipe. I absolutely love it. And the good thing is that I soaked some chickpeas overnight. So they flopped up because I'm going to make some falafel next. So first I'm going to finish the majadra. I, um, then I'm going to move on to this. So one at a time. Um, so the onions are frying nicely for the majadra. We've got the bulgur wheat, I've got the lentils that are cooked and I still have to finish the cauliflower stuff but I'm just going to get this going and then finish the cauliflower dip. So I've got um, all the spices and the bulgur going in with the rice and it's going to cook slowly. So still frying the onions uh, but um, all the stuff in this is ready, so I'm going to cover and cook this for 15 minutes. Smells really good. Right, so I'm going to finish uh, the Korean uh, cauliflower yogurt dip. So I've just got like a whole box of um, yogurt. I'm adding salt to taste in this. Um, and then I'm just going to add in like a half a teaspoon of black pepper i've also got half a teaspoon of ground cumin which is the best combination for yogurt and i'm going to add a little bit of chili so everything quarter teaspoon and just give it a i'm just using natural yogurt just give it a really nice mix smells so good um, and then just spread it on your serving plate really nicely 
um, just spread it. So there's, it's not like a very tiniest thin layer. It's still got like a substance, a good half an inch layer of yogurt. And I'm just spreading it out. And then I'm going to finish it with the lovely cauliflower. Just look at this. Ooh. Absolutely stunning. I'm not going to waste any of that. Don't you worry. Just make sure that cauliflower has got that coating before you put it out because it's settled at the bottom. There. Oh my god, it smells unreal. There it is. Just gonna plop it on top of the yogurt. So when people are serving themselves they're going to take a bit of yogurt and a bit of cauliflower the good thing with this is once again i'm preparing it quite early on and this is going to stay as it is because it's completely cooled down at room temperature the cauliflower um and um it, it will remain exactly how it is in even in a few hours so you don't have to worry about the texture or it getting soggy or any of that. Um, so the onions are all done. Here they are. And the majadra is almost ready. But my dips are all done. I'll show them to you. Um, while everything's been cooking, I've also got my plates out and ready. And here I've got the smoked aubergine, coriander hummus. Um, I've got this um, Mahamra. God, I forgot the name. And then this beautiful cauliflower yogurt dip. Um, so yeah, it's coming together nicely. Kitchen's still a mess because we still got lots to cook. But I'm going to, now they've all cooled down, I'm going to cover them up. So I left the majadra to kind of um, sit in the smoke, uh, heat and the steam. And I've just had my lunch. And I tasted a little bit of the dips, the hummus and the mahamra, um, and they were so good. And it's now time to open this up, mix it with the fried onions and plate it up because this is, I'm gonna serve this at room temperature, which is a good thing because uh, that's the whole thing of getting choosing a menu which you can serve uh, a bit at room temperature because otherwise you'll be cooking the whole time while your guests are here let's check this Ooh. oh nice one it smells really good God, it's cooked to perfection. Right, so I'm gonna mix the a little bit of the um, uh, fried onions, just a little bit, and the rest I'm gonna add on top of the thing. And now this is plated up. I'm finishing it with some lovely more rest of the fried onions. And it's just gonna make it so, so special. Um, so the mejadra is done, the dips are done. I'm moving on to marinating the chicken. And I don't, obviously I want the chicken to go with all the rest of the food. So it can't be an Indian spice chicken like a tandoori chicken. So I am making a quick mix of some uh, spices um, and I'm gonna marinate it and let it sit while I cook the other ingredients. And for this, because we are so many people, I want to be able to share. So I'm not making whole chicken, I'm making chicken thighs, which everyone can take a piece. Okay, so for the chicken, I have got some ginger, some garlic, a little bit of cinnamon, some Russell Hanout, 
spice mix um, lots of black pepper and salt and i'm going to mix it all with some olive oil um, so it's like a nice uh, little paste and i'm mixing it in this um, kind of tin because i'm going to put the chicken in this tin directly so i don't want to be kind of um, moving it around oh my god that smells so good oh absolutely kind of fragrant the smell is so fragrant and Russell Hanuit has a lot of again a lot of spices already mixed in it and I can see some cumin some kind of um, coriander bits so yeah it's already got this it's a ready spice blend which is brilliant because you don't have to add kind of different spices to it and now I'm gonna add the chicken thighs so uh, here are some nice big chicken thighs and they go straight into it um, I've got around one piece for everyone because some of my friends are vegetarian so not everybody is going to eat chicken but I've still got extra in case there's any left we can eat tomorrow and then once that is done you just kind of roll it into the marinade so we've just chopped up uh, this quick lovely uh, cucumber, tomato, onion and lots of parsley and coriander and I've just drizzled it with some oil and um, lemon juice, salt and pepper um, and it can also sit at the table now. Um, so here is the chicken all in the marinade. It's I'm going to cover it and leave it in the fridge until we are ready to cook it this evening. So it smells really good and it's a very very different way to uh, barbecue the chicken than what I usually do so um, that's the I just uh, blitzed up the soaked chickpeas from overnight put in all the spices I'm just making some fresh falafel because it will just go perfectly in this mezze and um, yeah that's the advantage of making the menu beforehand because i remembered to soak the chickpeas overnight it's got lots of lovely herbs um, and i'm just going to deep fry them in small um, kind of oval shapes uh, again the recipe for this is already on the channel okay so i made these two days ago again something i pre-prepped I've also got some halloumi which I'm going to slice in a minute uh, but now I'm going to fill this up so it's all a bit messy um, so I'm going to um, clear it up so I've uh, fried oh sorry boiled the potatoes and now I'm going to just drizzle it with some lovely chives dill a mixture of herbs and then some oil and I'm going to put it on the table because this is ready so here are the falafels that had fried and they can also go on the table i usually don't serve them piping hot again i serve them at room temperature so that's all done this side is all cleaned up now i've finished this side and this side after the falafel i'm gonna give it a quick wipe first i'll finish this potato kind of salad -y thing as you can see kitchen is a bit quite messy right so that's the herbs in the salad i'm just going to put some salt and pepper as well and this just goes into i know you think there's so many herbs but actually that's the beauty of this particular thing because um kind of you need that herbiness a lot of it and when you're doing that you can even squash them a little bit because then um, it kind of soaks up the oil the herby oil so if you can because they're so nicely boiled as you can see look i'm just squashing it up oh beautiful this is going to go so well as part of that mezze Okay. Um, right, the profiteroles are filled with cream. I've got my coffee going and I have made some hot, piping hot caramel 
uh, and now I'm gonna uh, put the kind of um, tower of Prophet Ruth together. So this is now ready. I'm gonna quickly make a chocolate drizzle to go on top so we can finish it when we're ready to serve. But this is kind of rock solid, hopefully. And while the oil was hot for the falafel, we quickly fried some, my mom and myself quickly fried some poppadums to go. So everything's all ready. We've got the falafel, the potato salad, uh, majadra, cucumber salad, cauliflower dip, aubergine dip, mahamra, hummus, the poppadums, plates are all there, drinks, just water to start with. And I've just made my five minute yogurt flatbread, uh, which is on YouTube. So just quickly made that and we're cooking it kind of partially on the hob because it will save us time. But and um, when I got get the barbecue going, I'm just gonna reheat it and I'll make a lovely butter to go, zatar butter to go with it. Um, just making a, like a salsa with onions, tomatoes, herbs for the halloumi. Um, and the recipe for this is also on the channel. I'm just gonna chop it up nicely, olive oil, salt, pepper. Um, all is done i have cleaned the kitchen up really well and the table is set and now i'm gonna sit down and have a glass of wine and then maybe i'm um, gonna get the barbecue going soon so i have chopped up all the halloumi i've made the salsa and i'm gonna put this on the barbecue as soon as the barbecue is on and at this time when i've set everything up i'm ready um, I always think, oh, have I made enough? Is there something all else I can quickly whip up? But actually, I don't need to, but that's what I'm always thinking. I have to stop myself from making a bit more food. <laughs> Just making some ganache for the profiteroles. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. And there it is. After a day spent in the kitchen cooking some of my favorite things, um, the food is served. Uh, finished the chicken and halloumi um, on the barbecue and warmed up these uh, flatbreads. Finished them with some um, really nice, delicious butter. And now we are going to tuck into the food. Hope you guys found this uh, video uh, fun to watch. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back next week.